Well, this week we're still hunting with great friend Moses Vasquez with the Exodus Project. We had a phenomenal first day and we're looking forward to what day two has in store. Turkey Hunter is brought to you by Browning, the best there is. On the first day, we have four gobblers down in no time. We get back to camp and man, are we treated nice. We had a feast prepared for us and we got to see some live music and we hung around the campfire and it was just a great turkey camp. Deep South Texas, first morning we've had it there and uh, Moses has been kind enough to invite us and yesterday afternoon we had a hunt, didn't we? You sure did, <laughs> it was a good one. Maybe sitting 45 minutes, we both got Awesome birds, so. Turkey Express. Yeah, uh, and uh, first time you've had one called up like that and had it where we're at. Yeah, it's great. So we we picked a spot out yesterday afternoon. We're going to go to it this morning. A little cooler this morning, but I think we're going to have just as much success this morning as we did yesterday. That's right. Vamos. Let's go. Well, it's day two, and we're heading out to some new locations. The guide is saying this is where they lay heavy. There's a lot of turkeys in this area, and this is the good spot. So we're excited, waiting on the sun to rise. Well, Moses and Lamar both have a gun. We're set up perfect. I'm kind of in between them running the camera. They're both set up right where the turkeys are. As day starts breaking, birds are gobbling in front of us in this mott, and it sounds like a passel of them. I go to calling and they get fired up. They're, they're gobbling at me, I'm calling, and I just keep pouring it to them. And finally, one hits the ground to our left and he starts progressing to us.
Watch out, buddy. That was beautiful, man. Meanwhile, about a mile away, Seth and Reno are on their own mott, and there's birds all around them gobbling. Well, Seth and Reno have birds in front of them and to the right of them, and now it's just a race to see who's going to get there first. They're in a good position. Seth keeps working them. They keep gobbling. Well, sure enough, the ones to the right, they're coming a little faster. And all at once, they look over, and these birds are headed right to the decoy. Well, these birds cut and run at the decoy and commence to whooping the fool out of them. Now, if you got birds whooping a decoy like that, you know you gotta wait on the right opportunity to get a shot. And these birds are bobbing and weaving, and Seth squeezes one off, and right as he does, this bird kinda ducks, his ducking down, and the shot goes right over top of him. Well, luckily, Seth is pretty quick with that Maxis and made a follow-up. Whoa, that's where an automatic saves your tail right there. Because I just about screwed that up. Oh, <laughs> I got on, you know, when nervous when they're beating on the decoys and carrying on and doing all the thing. I was about to shoot and he lowered his head and I, I swear I swung it right, right over the top of his head. But that's why you shoot an automatic, guys, because that second shot. <laughs> put it right where I needed it to. <laughs> Whew. That was fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> well here he is guys. This turkey is missing half of his fan. I didn't know that when I shot him but um, he's got a really long beard. Real pretty spurs on him, probably inch, good inch hook, sharp spurs. We had a great morning hunt though. We seemed to be right in the middle of them. They were coming, they, I think these were got, actually roosted behind us. And uh, there was one big bird over here with a bunch of hens. They flew down, went that direction. And I started talking to them left and right. And um, all of a sudden I heard drumming coming up from behind us, like right on top of us. And I saw one long beard, two long beards, and then three long beards. And they went straight to the RDC decoys. Fought them a little bit. And then uh, 
I committed to pulling the trigger and he lowered his head about the time I pulled it and I just sailed it right over the top of his noggin. But uh, the Maxis too slung another shell in there for me and he stood just long enough for me to, to get a redemption shot. But uh, Reno's running the camera for me this morning. He tagged out yesterday and I tagged out this morning. So tagged out in Texas. I want to thank Moses Vasquez of the Exodus Project for having us out here to hunt on his friend's big private ranch. Lots of birds, just, uh, you know, classic South Texas hunt. Haven't really been messed with, put on a show. So, what a day. Turkey Hunter is also brought to you by Apex Competitions, Indian Creek Shooting Systems, Replica Decoy Company, Foot on the Head Game Calls, Grounded Brand Turkey Vests, Apex Ammunition, and Vortex Optics. Enter the Apex Outdoor Rewards Turkey Challenge in your state. Over $120,000 in cash rewards. Limited number of entries allowed statewide. Every bird is a possible winner. Reward your passion at apexoutdoorrewards.com. Well, back on our side of the ranch, we still have birds gobbling. So I tell Moses to go out and get his bird and come back and sit down so maybe we can work these birds in for Lamar. What just happened was Moses and I got another double. We're gonna have to. It's gonna be a hard deal to beat. And the two times we've hunted together, we both got doubles. You good one Lamar? Ain't nothing wrong with those. Okay. I like it. I'll hold his spurs up, Mark. 
I'll stay up for just a second. Hold him, hold him, hold him. Ooh, that's a good turkey, Mark. Well, we got tucked in here before daylight, obviously. Ray had said that this was one of his roosts that he remembers. And uh, sure enough, we heard him gobbling on the limb, and they probably weren't 100, 150 yards. And we got to watch the brush country wake up. And as soon as we heard the wings, we knew it was going to be on. And both these birds came from the left. And, uh, but most of them sounded like they went to the right, but there's just turkeys all over this country right now. And as you can see in the footage, they are lustful. <laughs> what, a, what a hunt. Moses, I don't think a BB missed his bird. <laughs> and then mine really gave a show, and then we had a show after the kill. Yeah. So, man, Moses, we really appreciate you setting this up, and Ray, and you know, there's nothing like the South Texas brush country to have fun in. And That's right. You can do it in the spring, and it's all year long, all year long down there. So we really appreciate it and Absolutely. hope we can keep doing it. That's right. We'd like to thank Russell for the calling. He's got the, he's got the nag, doesn't he? He's got it. <laughs> Twenty two point one six. That's a big old gobbler. That's a big old gobbler. Turkey Hunter TV in deep South Texas. We have had an awesome weekend here with Moses Vasquez and the Exodus Project. So Moses, I want you to tell the people what the Exodus Project is in your words. Well, the Exodus Project continues to serve uh, South Texas and the communities uh, here, whether you're church, unchurched. Uh, our goal remains the same, is to disconnect from our busy schedules, our busy lives, whatever enslaves us per se, right? right. Technology is getting crazy and we disconnect and we get outdoors. We slow things down for a minute. Uh, we learn about the Lord and we, we have a lot of fellowship, just like we had this weekend. Right. Uh, getting together, you know, we're, we're starting to lose that connectivity, I think. Um, you know, post-COVID, right. people are, are ready to get together again. And so we're excited for what's going to come for Exodus Project. And right. I want to thank you guys yeah. for coming out here and letting people know what's happening. Well, we, we, like I said, we've had a great time. And you're right. You know, it's too easy to just pick up your phone mm -hmm. or get involved with your phone and watch videos or even FaceTime. Yep. What, 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 you know, shake hands. Right. Sit, look somebody in the eyes. Smile. You might Smile. Them. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and uh, it, it, it's a great deal. So... If, now, if somebody wants to research and help yep. with this, how can they, where can they go to find out where? Absolutely. It's important. We are 501c3, so we do depend on, on help. And uh, you go to our website, it's exodusproject.org, X-O-D-U-S, you got to leave out the E, <laughs> .org. And uh, yeah, by all means, look and see what's going on. There's plenty of, of um, footage. There's plenty of testimony of people. You know, the, we deal with everything, Lamar, from a depression the sadness to just over stress to fatherlessness i mean we deal with it's not just a, a a place for somebody who's struggling it's just a place to keep us from struggling right and so um i just i'm really proud of of all the group again i'm just one person right there's, there's a, a full board a loaded staff like the guys here you know javier eddie uh, Ray, you know, everyone steps in sacrificially to serve other people, and that's a beautiful thing. I think that's a God thing, mm -hmm. and um, and then having you guys here to to just take two seconds to to let people know what's happening and how they can help that that's huge. And and and, and everybody needs to know it's not just kids or it's not adults. Sure. It's everybody. Uh, if you need a time or a place to get away and reconnect with friends, family, or the outdoors or just chill without a lot of things, or without without the stress. That's it. It's a great stress reliever, yeah, so. Y'all check it out. It's exodusproject.org. Uh, research it, and if you feel compelled to donate, help them, it's a great cause. And once again, thank you, my friend. Well, once again, Moses has treated us to a great time. We can't say enough good things about Moses and the Exodus Project and getting to meet more people associated with it. They're doing some great things for their community and we can't wait to share hunting camp again together.